motorcycle landing gear. So this is my airframe, and when I bought this, it came with the landing gear on it. However, I also received an upgraded hoop on the for the rear that the factory had uh, um, redesigned this and made this hoop a little bit more strong and. Um, I don't really know all of the changes they did to it, so but I do want to have this hoop on, and so I'm changing it out now. And so what I've had to do is go ahead and remove the front hoop off of the airframe, um, and and then bring it over here to this uh, set of skids that I have. And the again, these are an extra set of skids that I got with this um, that. Uh, the, the ones that are on it had a seam right here where they took two pieces of metal and bolt them or kind of rivet them together and all that. And it looks fine and works better. But this one, these don't have that. And so again, these came with my kit when I bought it. And so now I'm doing this upgrade with the hoop and the skids. And I've got these things in place to where the measurements uh, say these things should be. And so the next thing to do is get these off of the saw horses here and kind of get them on the ground. And then I will use my hoist here and get my airframe up off of the ground and, and over the skids and then make the final adjustments on, the, uh, on those new hoops so that they uh, match the bolt uh, markings, the mounting uh, brackets. Um, here for the rear. I've done part of the um, upgrade here so far in terms of taking off the old one, putting on the new one, and in so doing, um, this requires then that you have to try to get this on here center, um, as center as you can and as evenly spaced as you can. Uh, right here where you, it has the mounting brackets in here. You want to have about a three quarters of a distance here on each side. I just used a uh, little wood template here and I stuck that in there on both sides and it gave me the three quarters. So as I moved it around, I didn't lose that spacing there. Um, so I got that set and then like many things you have to, once you get it in position, you have to drill the holes and get things uh, positioned so that you can kind of in this case work a little bit from the top down once you get this rear piece in place then if you look down here you have to kind of line it up with the skids and there's various measurements you have to try to respect as you go and and try to get things um, uh, exactly where they need to fall so i've done that on this one here i've got it all the way down to the front um, the skid itself is um, Basically, th this bent up end is at a 90 degree uh, angle so that this thing runs straight all the way down. Um, and then, of course, you have to reset this front hoop, which they, um, Helicycle Ventures is making a upgraded front hoop as well. It's just not available yet, but when it comes available, it's very likely I'll go ahead and replace the front hoop um, to match the rear hoop once they're available. But for now, I've got this one side done, and I'm going to go ahead and do this other side over here and get this thing locked in. And then once I have that, um, this will go over to uh, the powder coating people. All this assembly, this landing gear assembly will get powder coated and be ready to come back and be final installed. So keep watching.